Welcome back, everybody. If you're watching at halftime and or on warrenwilsonowls.com or on the Owls YouTube channel, Chris Scheman here with another player profile. It's Ty Johnson, senior basketball player for the Owls. Ty, thanks a lot for giving us some of your time. No problem. Appreciate it. Ty got married over the summer. How is, how, there it is right there. Look at that bad boy. How is married life treating you as a college student? It's probably the best decision I've ever made. Um, come home, get out of practice at 8 o'clock at night, supper's cooked, laundry's done. It takes a lot of extra duties out being a college student. Yeah, it's, yeah. Great, it's great having a support system around you all the time as well. well you know, that, yeah, that's, I've never really thought about it that way. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of other people probably haven't either, but that's, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, and all that. I grew up in Wilkesboro, North Carolina, which is about an hour and a half from here, it's about in between Boone and Winston Salem. Grew up, dad was a basketball coach uh, for years. Grew up around it, had one in my hands since I was two, and never let one out of my sight. I did this thing with uh, uh, Stefan where I told him to look into the camera, and you know, this video will be on our YouTube channel four years from now. And what would you say? Um, you're a senior now. Had I been here four years ago, or when you came here, what would you, what would your freshman self have said to you now? You know, can, first of all, did that question make any sense? And second of all, can you answer it really? When I transferred in here my sophomore year, first impression, if I was talking, I'd be like, "Are you still here?" <laughs> but it's probably been the best decision to stay here for this is going on the emissions commercial everybody right here. <laughs> why has it been the best decision to stay it's taught me so much playing here and because it's it gave me the i had the outlook of being just a student athlete just going to school going to going to practice having so much more free time but coming here made me like appreciate hard work and appreciate things that go into like an athletic program with working in an athletic office. It made me appreciate like how fortunate I am to actually play basketball. It made me appreciate the game of basketball a lot more because that was the that was the thing you look forward to during the day. Right. Um, it made me appreciate just the game as itself, not just playing it, but just from like a whole another level. It just gave me a new appreciation. And I think the chance to win a national championship yeah. probably. Yeah, <laughs> uh, winning a national championship my first year here definitely helped. Um, and that's the goal every year now. I think this program's accepted a standard of that's the that's the goal every year. I was talking to uh, William about you a little bit, and you know about your coaching aspirations. So tell folks what you want to do after you're done playing. Um, I want to coach in college at the co collegiate level. Um, I know probably 90% of men's college basketball players say that when they get out, but I want to do it primarily for the relationships that I feel like college basketball coaches have with their guys. Um, just the, the growing process that happens when a guy's in college and just the mindset of that being a college athlete, I, I don't want to get away from the college basketball game because the game of college basketball is something that I don't ever want to leave. I want to stay in it. I don't want to do high school. I want to stay with the guys my own age, guys that stay, keep that connection. Yeah, I don't blame you. That's why, you know, if, if you're not good enough to play your coach, this doesn't really apply to you in college, but, but this is how it theory goes. If you, if you can't play your coach in the pros, if you can't coach, you, you do what I do. You become a broadcaster because you, you can tell everybody else what's wrong with them. You just can't. Um, well, Ty, uh, you know, being a senior, leading this team has to be, you know, certainly a challenge, but, but I would think somebody who wants to coach at a higher level, you know, after you're done, that's got to be kind of a rewarding experience to have that role. It definitely is. I mean, this, this team is very talented, but, but we're not young, but it's not inexperienced either. It's kind of like a mixture. Like we got guys like transfer guys that know the game, and it's just like it's so fun being able to be in a room of guys that have so many different backgrounds that still are in it for the same goal. And I think it makes my job as a leader so much easier um, just having guys that buy in and guys that want to win. Yeah. When you have guys that want to win, 
and guys that will go to battle with you and have your back, then there's really not much leading to do. Um, the pinnacle of our of what we want to do is win, but if that's like the pinnacle, like if that's the only thing we want to get out of this season, then we're going to fail. And I think that's we want it more for the guy beside us than our own self. And I think that's what, is what makes this team special. Well, maybe that's what they need in Washington. Maybe they just need to start a basketball <laughs> basketball <laughs> league. Of. Ty, we're going to let you go. Thanks for giving us some of your time. Best of luck this year and, and afterwards as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, it's Ty Johnson. We'll talk to him throughout the season as well, I'm sure, after games. Uh, everybody, if you're watching at halftime, feel free to uh, stick around. We'll have stats coming up. And if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to check out more uh, OWL's videos. Thanks.